Welcome back to my channel and today I will be using the John John cubes to show you how to make a delicious rice. I have received several requests for this video and I want to give a shout out to those who have visited my community and purchased from Wild Booty. Guys, you rock. To my oil, I'm going to add some of my Haitian ippies. Add just a little bit more like that. And I'm gonna also add some cloves. And I will also add some minced garlic, okay? You're not going to allow, you just allow the babies to cook just a little bit, but you do not want to burn your garlic. Now I'm going to add my chon joints. You want to allow them to kind of break up. up. Want them to break up. And I'm also add my beans. Okay, guys, I'm not using lime and bean. I'm using pigeon peas today. But typically, I use lime and beans. But since I didn't have any lime and beans, I didn't feel like running to the store. I'm just using what I have in my refrigerator. So this is a great bean also to use with your John John. All right, guys, so I'm gonna just let this cook on a medium high for a few minutes, then I'll come back. All right, guys. I'm gonna give it a stir so we can break up our, see how soft it got? So now it's easier to, dissolve it because you do not want this chunk inside of your rice so you want to make sure it dissolves okay so even when I add water okay I like to kind of smush it all right and I'm not making a lot of rice I'm making it for the sake of this video like I say I don't like the Maggie um I don't like the, not the Maggie, but the John John cubes. So my friend likes it. So I'm gonna make it and just take it to her. I prefer the fresh one, but I, I understand that there's places that you're not able to find the fresh one. So you work with whatever you have. Okay, so. I'm gonna turn my stove back on high. And then I'm gonna add some warm water from my faucet. I'm gonna add one more cup. Well, I'm not even sure if this, <laughs> I shouldn't even say cup. This is not a cup, guys. It's a little small bowl that I have. And you know what, I'm gonna add just one more. And that should do it. All right, guys, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my parsley and fresh thyme. You can go ahead and tie it, but I just don't bother with the tying. In culinary school, whenever we we're making something, we always tied it. But hey, I just like it all throughout my food. I will use some seasoning salt. I'm going to use complete seasoning, just a little bit. And you can go ahead and just add salt and pepper and, and your maggie or whatever you want to add all right guys this is how i would make it okay i like to use my chicken base so i'm going to just use just a little bit of chicken base like this and i'm just using if you notice it was two cubes nice and dark so i'm gonna uh, Stir it up, making sure we get all of that 
chicken base. And I don't know if you notice, all of the seasonings that I use, they're non-MSG. I'm allergic to MSG, guys. I had a real bad allergic reaction on yesterday. I went to um, a Haitian restaurant. I was being lazy. I didn't feel like cooking. And I guess they packed that MSG, that Maggie. And I had a real bad reaction to it since I haven't been eating that thing for at least three, four years now. All right, guys, you want to taste your liquid. All right, it needs, it needs just a little, just a tiny more salt. So I'm going to add maybe about this much, which is not, it's not a lot at all. And we're going to give it a taste. It's perfect. Where is that? What I like to do, add my scotch bonnet. And I didn't poke any holes in it because we don't want our rice spicy. But I just like the flavor of the scotch bonnet in your rice. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add my rice in. I washed my rice, guys. I'm using a jasmine rice. You can use whatever jasmine. As a matter of fact, I have two different ones here because I had one that was almost done. So I didn't want it to go to waste, so I just mixed it with another one. As you can see, guys, I needed some more rice. I went ahead and rinsed some more off. And I believe this should be about enough. All right, guys. Go ahead and scrape the bottom just to make sure my rice is not stuck and you do not want to stir it guys when you stir it like this what you do is release all the starches and then your rice is mushy all right guys so we're going to allow this to cook and once it reduces i'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it and show you what i do next all right guys i forgot to add some butter I'm using butter, 100% butter, and it has no salt. So unsalted butter, because you don't wanna um, add too much salt because I already have all my nice flavor going on. So I'm gonna add little chunks of butter. Like that, all right guys? And now what you like, because like I said before, you have to know your pot. I know this particular pot sometimes it sticks, so I'm not gonna stir it, but from the side, I'm gonna just, see, kind of loosen it like that. Push it in, loosen it like that, and loosen it. All right, guys? So my stove is on high. So once the liquid reduces, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove to a number two. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove down to the number two. And I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen it one more time, like that. Okay. And then we're gonna put the lid on. Guys, just wanted to show you the consistency Let's remove the scotch bonnet. Do you see that? Our rice is not, see this? Your rice is not mushy. It is perfect. I'm gonna give it a small taste. Like I said, I can't eat a whole bunch of this MSG stuff. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do just a little bit like this. Mm. Guys, wow. It has a nice, nice flavor. It's good. Mm. Like I All said, right, guys, here is the rice. The rice looks fabulous. Do you see that? And I'm gonna take it to my friend with some fried 
fish. If you don't know how to fry fish, I do have a video up and I made some sauce. Until next time, guys, please like, comment. Do not forget to subscribe.